Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, it's just me here at the fish pond today, or shrimp pond today. Uh, Jason and I had a little bit of miscommunication on to when we, as, to, as to when we were going to meet this morning. I had thought he was going to check the tides so we could come at low tide. And he had uh, thought we were just going to meet at a certain time. And of course I wasn't there, So and he's doing other things now. And we were here till, well, I didn't get home till like 4.30, so we were here till like 4 a.m. Uh, Tatai's beat. Uh, he's tired. And uh, Jason is helping someone move a vehicle right now, so I just came here myself. The tide is coming back in, and this uh, gate valve did not work. It's leaking and it's leaking significantly. Um, when we left this morning the water was about an inch below this foothold and of course it's gone down I don't know 16 inches or so except the tide is now coming back in and you can see uh, from the swirls in the water there that uh, it, it didn't seal so I'm gonna move so I'm trying to I'm gonna before I pull it out I'm gonna pull it out and uh, take it home before I pull it out I'm gonna try to figure out where it's leaking from And it's not leaking around. Well, let's see. I'm going to get, throw a little mud in the water here. My big concern was is that it uh, it would leak around the, the top seal of the barrel. Uh, it's obviously leaking. Well, see, that's the thing because. Uh, Jason and I had thought the high tide would be around 11 a.m. I waited for a text. He went. He went to meet at 11, um, and I got no text. He was going to check and see when the low tide was, so that we could come and look at it. It was late, uh, late or early, depending on how you how you say it. We were all tired. It's just a mis miscommunication. And because it's about, well, let's see, what time is it? It's almost 1.30. So uh, about 11.30 was low tide, 11, 11.30. And so it's had two hours to come up now. So now I can't tell exactly where it's leaking from. It either I can't tell if it's leaking from the barrel, the concrete seal around the barrel, or if it's leaking from the barrel because the water is too high now and I don't have uh, water x-ray vision I'm gonna throw a little bit of mud in there I mean it's you know, like, let me let me try something here we put this stop on it to lock it in I can't tell. I'm going to have to use both hands. Alright, well I can tell that it's all the way in its seat. And so I don't think that ring seal inside the barrel is leaking. I think it's leaking from the cement, the, the concrete that we put around it. But there's no real way to tell. Because I'm about... 45 minutes too late. I can see <clears throat> that there's a tiny amount of, of flow around that seal in the top of the barrel. 
and I knew there would be. I knew that wouldn't be a perfect seal, but I thought it would be acceptable. Maybe you can see that little swirl there in the water. Maybe you can't, but it's just a... I, I can tell there's a little bit of water movement right there. Uh, one of the interesting, something inter interesting we noticed last night, when we first came here last night to set this gate in, it it appeared the tide was going out and we knew, knew it should be coming in. And what happens is that <clears throat> the water was coming in the barrel, but it was making a vortex and it was actually, the surface of the water was coming towards me, towards this end. Now, whether or not this movement right here is from the water coming against it here, I can't tell. So I just can't tell if this is leaking or not. I, well, I can tell that it's leaking, but I can't tell where it's leaking from. I can't tell if the, if the check is leaking or if it's leaking from the cement. Because I'm about 45 minutes too late. So, um, what I've decided to do, and I, I had had this idea last night, uh, if this failed, and for one reason or another it's failed, either it was the concrete that didn't seal or it's the check itself that did not seal, but uh, one way or another it's not it's not holding water. So, um, I brought my measuring tape. We've got one more thing to try. And uh, stay tuned. Basically what I'm going to try to do is these boards are old and not in the best shape. But, you know, they're expensive to replace. I'll just tell you what my plan is. The problem with these boards you know, there was a uh, we we slightly didn't do it right when because we didn't put the tarp in a U in that channel right there uh, all the way. We only put the the tarp on one side. Uh, Tata just didn't think that it was necessary, and so we only put it on one side. And the boards failed. Uh, uh, they they failed to hold the mud in. And one of the reasons is that. These boards are, well, they're different uh, widths. All the boards are different, it seems like. <clears throat> but what happens, let me see if I can, if I can show you a glaring example. Yeah, well, this is one here that, you see there's a taper. There's a taper on the end of these boards. You can see the taper on the end of that one and the taper on the end of that one so the taper is on one side of this board only and on the next board over the taper is on both sides and it's on both sides of this one and some of these boards see if I can find one the taper is very narrow see that that's a little bit more than a quarter of an inch and where then the end of it on this one is five-eighths of an inch maybe and let's see if I can show you one this one here it's kind of sort of tapered on that end and there's not much taper at all on this end uh, without digging through them all I'm just going to uh, explain to you what Jason and I think happened because when these boards are stacked and these tapers aren't the same because this butts up against that groove right there and when one has a, a strong taper and the, and the next one has a not so strong taper and I'm going to exaggerate it what happens is the boards end up like this in that in that sluice and so you end up with a very small amount of board to hold the water back and then you stack another one on it and it's not again it's not correct so the boards are all 
they're all different as you go up so my idea I'm gonna we're gonna take these boards home and there's also you know there's also gaps in between them we're gonna plane all these boards we're gonna plane these faces here and uh, we're gonna make all the tapers the same so that they'll fit like this and make a straight up and down seal rather than a crooked one and in addition we're going to put a piece of plywood so we we had thought to just not use the boards at all that was one of the original plans and just use plywood uh, but two sheets of three-quarter inch plywood is a close to 3,000 pesos and we're gonna have to epoxy it uh, we were adding things up as we were going home last night and it's like 6,000 pesos uh, to use plywood so uh, full sheets of plywood that is so my idea uh, I haven't totally explained it to Jason I just saw him on the way out and uh, I told him I had another idea so my idea is to plane these boards surface the angles of the grooves so that they're all the same and uh, even make a little cutout on each board fit a half inch piece of plywood in that groove and it'll give the same seal as a full piece of plywood without a, without having to use a full piece of plywood we can just use uh, uh, well we'll have to use a full piece of plywood because I'll have to buy a half inch sheet of plywood but a half inch sheet is much cheaper than two three quarter inch sheets and so that's the way we're going to do it so I'm going to just pull this all the way out um, since I, I can't see where it's leaking anyway and it's way too heavy to pick up with one hand All right, I've taken the board out. Now, <laughs> the water is actually going into the pond. But that was the dynamic, that was the illusion that I was talking about, the vortex. When we came last night, we saw all the water moving that way and thought the pond was draining. And we knew for sure that the tide was supposed to come in. And we were a little uh, shaken. But the, the water's coming in in the very bottom of the check and so it just makes a little swirl there so I've got this out uh, for the people who were saying that that glue wouldn't work I don't, know, I don't know why people just leave comments just talking out their ass when they have no idea what they're talking about it just amazes me uh, the glue worked just fine uh, this better quality rubber there's no damage to it at all uh, so I'm fairly certain that this seal worked and I checked it uh, I even ran it in and out a few times and if there was going to be any damage to this it would have happened then but as you can see both sides there's no damage anywhere on it and it's it's adhered to this board and that part of it worked just fine I don't know why it's not sealing my guess is for the amount of water that was coming in it has to be coming uh, through the cement work because there's no you know that seal worked and there's you know there's no space in there for that amount of water to come around it uh, the leak would be at the top of the barrel because even though we do have rubber set into the top of the barrel on both sides uh, it's not really tight and I knew it would probably leak there some but it, it there's no way it could leak as much uh, to drain this pond so I think there's some kind of problem in the cement work down there uh, but again can't tell because the tides too high so <laughs> gonna have to come again at uh, 
very low tide and stick this stick this in it and see where it's leaking and I think the low tide tonight is at midnight I know that's probably the high tide the thing was last time the high tide wasn't until it was supposed to be at 1.30 a.m. but it's always off because they because the their uh, whatever tide chart that is uses the Cebu numbers and we're not we're not in Cebu so there's a little bit of a lag so high tide didn't fully the the tide the water didn't completely stop going into this pond until about 2:30 so got to check and see when low tide is i mean it's 2 now 2:30 ish the tide's coming in this has to all the way recede so, I don't know, maybe low tide is 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. And that's when we need to come and uh, throw, this throw this paddle in, in the barrel, and see where it's leaking. Uh, and figure out if we're going to, if we can go from there and stop it. I'm just not thinking that it's leaking that much through this valve. Now if there had been a big tear in it in the rubber or it, was, it hadn't seat all the way or something uh, that would be one thing but it was there was a lot of water coming in not just a little bit. Uh, this pond was full last night when we left and so it drained down a foot and to lose an acre foot of water in eight hours it's a pretty big leak and there's no way that much water could leak around this I'm thinking I'm not sure but uh, gonna have to come back at low tide throw that in there and look at it and see what's going on the leaks uh, down on the other end the big leak that we dug out and put the mud back in that one has stopped we did do some digging on the bank for the two smaller leaks but just on the bank we didn't go all the way in like we did on the other one one of those is still leaking so um, we still do have a little bit more patchwork to do Jason and I both are just hating that this has taken so long but uh, getting this check right is kind of important and we may have to just just throw our hands up and do it the Filipino way. And even though it's labor intensive and it takes several men to do it, and there's no guarantee that you know, the mud is going to stay in it and seal, and the whole thing's going to be sealed. But we may have to do that at some point. I'm going to. We're gonna, I'm going to come tonight, even if Jason doesn't want to come. I'm going to find out when low tide is. I'm going to come in, put this valve back in, uh, see where it's leaking. If it's something that I think I can address and fix, we will. If not, I'll pack these boards out of here. And tomorrow we'll uh, get a sheet of plywood and, and nail all these, cut out a strip plane up these boards make them nice and smooth and sweet and nail a piece of plywood to it and put that in the slot and uh, instead of using the boards and mud we'll be using plywood and mud and hopefully we can get this done thank you everyone please like comment share and subscribe You know, I'm going to do this little add-on here, um, and I'm going to run this by Tata and see what he thinks. I do listen, uh, well, I do read the comments. I don't always listen. Um, most of the time when I'm not following someone's advice or suggestion is that because, is because it's cost prohibitive. Um, but this one suggestion 
and I forget your name and I apologize I, I go through hundreds of comments every day this one gentleman had said that uh, he made uh, he made uh, I believe it was the same one there's so many comments and some sometimes I even get them confused I think this gentleman uh, said that he made uh, fish ponds or fish tanks for the state of New York and that uh, they had a board system just like this but that they also had just a simple plug made out of I think wood or cork or rubber or something and um, there is a hole in the end of this barrel now sealing up the slot that I cut in it uh, might take a little bit of doing um, just epoxy it I guess but I was thinking if we just caught, cut a large we, I, we still have the ends of this barrel and um, don't know which end is, is the one uh, on this end but we could form a round block from a solid piece of stump and just wedge it in there and beat it in a little bit uh, the thing would be is that uh, it would have to be as it, uh, the plug would have to be on this side so it would mainly work to keep the water in the pond and of course that's our problem right now uh, and once this pond was full uh, all the force against it would be going that way and it would be helping it to stay sealed now if we were trying to keep the pond empty and putting the plug here and then it had six or seven feet of water pushing against it that might be a little different story but just to plug it here while the pond is full of course it have it have less force pressing it into the hole uh, as the tide gets higher here to where it would almost equalize and there's no pressure uh, but that's why I'm saying we'd uh, we'd play a little horizontal whack-a-mole and beat it in a little bit put a handle on it um, and somehow uh, either wedge it in or beat it in and it wouldn't take much just a, a few good wraps on it maybe even use a a, a, a uh, pole and just hit it uh, but I'm gonna run that idea by Tata and see what he thinks uh, sometimes the best solutions are just the easiest even though while I'm fairly certain that uh, remachining all these boards and putting a piece of plywood on it and and putting them back in these slots would work again that is uh, time and money and if something so simple as a plug in this barrel would do what we need it to do um, I'm all for it we need to put a treatment in this pond uh, to mostly rid it of snails the tea we're going to use we hear is not crazily effective but it is, it's what we've got and so we need this pond to stay full for two weeks while that is in there and working and then we'll drain it out and let it flush out a couple times and then we'll fill it up again and put fertilizer in it probably put fertilizer in as it's swirling around here some and then scatter the rest out out there and then we have to wait for a couple weeks for the algae to grow and then we put the shrimp in so very best case scenario we're still a month away from getting shrimp in this pond and that's kind of you know that's we leased this pond three months ago and here we are absolutely no closer to getting shrimp in it than we were three months ago uh, it's just frustrating and right now all that's holding us up <clears throat> is sealing this check 
and this is all that's been holding us up for the last month. There were other things that uh, were out of our control before, but now it's all on us, and we need to get this. Uh, you know, uh, we need to get this going. So wish us luck.